Hi everyone! Welcome again to another edition of your Campo Charlie Vlogs. Today, we'll be sharing with you our full experience on this day hike at Mount Gulugod, Baboy in Mabini, Batangas. So we went here last Good Friday, Holy Week of 2022. Uh, this is actually located in the Kalumpan Peninsula of Mabini, Batangas, the southern portion of the province, which is actually known for the diving resorts in Anilao. People normally go here to take diving lessons and to go snorkeling, which will be our next episode coming soon. But going back to the mountain, uh, this uh, Gulugud Baboy is generally a term that describes the hills which has a commanding view of the West Philippine Sea and the uh, Verde Island Passage. Mamaya makikita nyo yan. So, uh, meron ng kalsada paakyat dun sa parking which is uh, very near the peak. Veteran mountaineers would use to describe the mountain as a minor climb with a difficulty level of 2 over 9, trail class 1 to 2. Before the roads were set up, the days required to reach the summit would usually be lasting to half a day. Now it can take only 1 to 2 hours if you'll be uh, utilizing the road. And as you can see here on this actual video of our uh, hike, to the peak coming from the parking lot uh, very accessible siya uh, meron na siyang defined trail where even older people and the kids can easily climb of course with the supervision of uh, our healthy and fit adult so uh, you can see here there's a lot of people climbing and going down the mountain this early morning so we need to uh, give way to each other because uh, medyo makitit kasi yung trail pero mabuti hindi masyado umulan kaya uh, dry naman siya and uh, walang masyadong puno yung peak uh, medyo madamo siya Kawai Bel, kawai kawai. Kawai kawai. Hello. Ma papa kau masih bawa mana? Yon, medyo nakakahingal din siya after reaching the top. Talaga nga naman totoo yung sinasabi ng mga mountaineers that it really takes away your breath. It takes away your tiredness kapag nasilayan mo na yung uh, sea of clouds and the wonderful and beautiful view feeling top of the world ka. It really relaxes your soul. So that's actually what we have experienced as we reach the top. Well, practically speaking, 
uh, we saw some uh, people who had actually pitched their tents on the mountain tops. Uh, unfortunately, uh, hindi ko maitatago ang daming kalat doon sa uh, campsite. So, panawagan lamang. Uh, please, if we can bring our equipment and then our um, personal items to the mountain top, let's not leave anything including our garbage. So, we can actually uh, also take our part kung di tayo marunong magkalat sa mga public places. Pumulot na rin tayo. So, uh, I personally picked some of those uh, little trashes. Uh, even though it's coming from strangers, put it in my pocket. Just to make sure that we make our contribution to preserve this beautiful place for our future generation. Guabe, no, ang saya na naman namin. Well, this is the first time for a long while that uh, we have climbed the, uh, a mountain. And uh, ang saya kasi ang dami namin kasama this time. Shout out sa De La Cruz family who had actually uh, hosted us on this trip. And kay Tita Shirley and uh, to uh, her family. So, nakikita nyo naman, we climbed around 7 a.m. And uh, actually, it's 6 a.m. when we started our journey. So, I think we arrived there around uh, before 7 o'clock. Uh, napakaganda ng view kapag maagang maaga kasi hindi masyadong mainit. And the sun is actually facing right to your uh, face on the east side. So, parang kaharap na kaharap mo lang ang haring araw. And uh, the way to describe it is that uh, it's actually uh, a very cool but the warmth of the sun uh, being in the same level almost of the mountain top gives you that uh, lukewarm feeling in the air. And you can really smell the dew, the sea of clouds has this uh, uh, may pagka hamog yung, yung feel niya. And, uh, Ang ganda talaga nung uh, view dito, panalo. Kasi hindi lang isang side yung makikita mong dagat. Dalawang side yan. So, hindi ko mo lang ma-pinpoint kung alin dyan yung um, Verde Island Pass. But uh, this is actually part of Batangas Bay and Balayan Bay. Itong uh, mga uh, horizon na nakikita nyo which is uh, all but blue. Blue not just the sky but the sea. Oh, social, diba? Ang sarap mag-emote-emote dyan. And uh, people also, including locals, uh, what they love to do here is that after reaching the top, later in the afternoon or kapag medyo mainit na sa tanghali, they would go down the other side of the mountain. Meron daw resorts dyan uh, along the sea and that's where they would uh, refresh themselves and take a dip into the sea. So, hindi namin siya nasubukan today kasi ang daming tao. It's a long weekend again. But, uh, sure thing, you can actually ask some of the locals and the guides there. Meron actually ako nakitang uh, Gulugod Baboy Mountain Guides Association page sa Facebook. You can message them there if you want to take those traditional uh, activities on this uh, place. If you notice, uh, hindi pantay yung level ng peaks uh, dito sa place na to. Kasi actually, tatlo daw yung mountain peak ng Gulugod Baboy ayon sa aking research. So yung tatlong uh, peak na yan, it looks like New Zealand or Batanes. Ganun yung uh, itsura niya or yung impressions niya. And uh, yung pinakamataas daw na peak or the third peak used to have this uh, ancient tree misa siyang malaking puno yun yung pinaka marker niya natanaw namin siya on the other side pero medyo malayo siya dun sa uh, pinag-akyatan namin 
Uh, or I'm not sure kung nandun pa yung puno. Baka ibang puno yun na yung natatanaw namin. Kasi medyo mas mababa nga yung lugar na yun actually. And then, meron pang mas mababa doon, the second peak. Which uh, I believe is yun yung mas madalas na uh, gamitin as uh, camping site ng mga nag overnight And then the third one, or the first one is actually what they call as pinagbanderahan. Uh, meron kasing uh, alamat dyan, no? uh, they said, uh, the local said that there used to be during the world war a Japanese plane that crashed on that mountain top and the surviving pilots, they waved a flag on that place for rescue, kaya tinawag nilang pinagbanderahan. Yan, sa so, pababa na kami. Same trail where we climbed, ito yung place din na uh, pagbababaan nyo, papunta dun sa parking. Oh, trivia naman, bakit ba't gulugod baboy? Actually, gulugod baboy is a Tagalog term which means pig spine or yung parang uh, likod ng baboy. Because of the contour ng hills of this mountain, um, kamukha daw siyang gulugod ng baboy. So that's why it was formally called uh, that way. And also, during the old times, people would normally encounter cows, goats, and even pigs, wild pigs, as they trek through the mountain. Kaya they really had decided to formally call it as such. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and watch out for more of our Batangas trip here on your Campo Charlie Vlogs.